Tonight on Panorama, the evidence of British war crimes the government never wanted you to see. That is a complete and utter disgrace. We know it went on, and for them to say it didn't, they're lying. Insiders from the Ministry of Defence say illegal killings have been covered up by the state. These are the biggest of allegations, the state covered up a murder. Yes. How does that feel? I feel sorry for the family. They deserve justice. We reveal how British detectives were stopped from exposing the truth. Key decisions were being taken out of our hands. There was more and more pressure coming from the ROD to get cases closed as quickly as possible. And we ask the most shocking question. Has the British government turned a blind eye to the murder of children? They had shot the boys in the head. They were placed next to each other and their brains had come out. What have you personally made of this case? I'm very, very troubled by it. Should this case be revisited, do you think? Yes. They came in the night. The British Special Forces were looking for Taliban fighters. We were all sleeping. First they came and bombarded the area. Bibi Hazrata lived with her three sons on a farm in southern Afghanistan. She says soldiers climbed over the walls and rounded up her family. They ordered us out of our rooms. They told my sons to put their hands in the air. Then they opened fire. So the, they had their hands in the air when they were shot? Yes, their hands were in the air like this. They asked everyone to raise their hands and then opened fire. They were killed right in front of me. I will never forget that. 